Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and real quick before we get into today's video, um, if you are new here to the channel then we are going for a subscriber goal. We're going for 300 subscribers here on the channel. Uh, we recently hit 200 subscribers, that was absolutely fantastic and um, there was a lot of support from you guys uh, but in the last couple of weeks that when I've been uploading uh, nearly every day the subscribers have just gone absolutely crazy we're almost at 300 subscribers which is absolutely fantastic so if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy this video please do consider subscribing to the channel I try and get out content every day and um, when we do reach 300 subscribers I will be doing another merch giveaway so if you're interested in sticking around for that then please consider subscribing to the channel uh, but with that out of the way let's get into to today's video we are continuing our snowrunner let's play today and um, if you haven't seen the previous episodes of snowrunner I will as ever link the playlist down in the description uh, but in the last episode we went and rescued this international trans star right here it's an absolutely awesome truck we rescued it out of a swamp uh, and then we did a few missions to get it on back to the garage and then we did eventually customize it at the end of that video um, But today I want to actually see if we can use this thing for a bit of good um, We've not had much gameplay in Alaska yet, so I really want to go back there the main reason that we're going to be going to Pedro Bay as you might be able to see it is almost entirely paved road um, obviously we haven't discovered these areas yet so I can't really tell what's under there but the majority of this map is paved road which is perfect for the international because it is a road uh, truck if you will so what I want to go and do today is see if we can discover a bit of the map um, I don't know if there's a garage on this map it might be un under one of these uh, watchtowers so see if we can uncover the garage and uh, maybe see if we can get a few of the watchtowers as well so i did say we weren't going to be exploring northport today and we actually aren't going to be exploring northport um, but because i have not discovered the garage in either of the other two maps uh, we have to start in northport and actually travel through the gateways so if you've not seen any gameplay of that yet that's going to be exciting um, I have shown it in a couple of the previous episodes but basically to travel to the other maps um, there's like gateways on the map and um, they're basically like a tunnel from this map to the next map and it sort of teleports you but if you haven't discovered the um, if you haven't discovered the garage in that map yet then basically you have to start in one map and travel to the other maps so that is one reason why I want to see if we can discover the garage today all right we have arrived at our first whoop, tunnel so if you've not seen any gameplay of this before basically You'll travel to a tunnel like this one here that we're up here at and uh, there's a square like this and it says travel to Mountain River. You tap that and basically um, you will load into the Mountain River map. And then once you've loaded in you get a little cutscene just like this one which is absolutely awesome and it gives you a little bit of view of the new map as well. And that is it. We are then loaded into mountain river and we can go ahead and actually open up the map um, now I have explored this map very very slightly um, when I was traveling to Pedro Bay this is just basically a straight road to the Pedro Bay gateway over here um, it's on road it's a very small map this one actually and I believe most of it is on road as well um, so we're gonna go ahead and travel to Pedro Bay uh, but we may come back to this map in the future and have a little explore. Alright, we've made it to our second tunnel right here. And we're going to go ahead and travel to Pedro Bay. 
And here we are, loading into Pedro Bay. It's a very woodlandy looking map. And uh, in a minute, we are also going to get to see what I was talking about with the ice earlier. So right up ahead here, you might have just seen it in the cutscene. This is a big ice sort of lake right here. Um, so that'll be fun to have a drive on there. Hopefully we don't fall through the map. But we are now in the Pedro Bay map. It's primarily on road. So I think what we'll go ahead and do first is... If we carry on on the road that we're on, there is a watchtower here. Uh, we just need to turn off uh, like here. Follow this road and it will literally lead us to the watchtower. Uh, there is also another watchtower right here that we should be able to go and get and uh, hopefully we might be able to uncloak the garage and see if we can get to the garage as well. So I have driven this map very very briefly. Um, I was trying to find an upgrade for one of the vehicles and I kind of wanted to have an off camera explore. So I have driven this map a little bit but not nearly enough to know where everything is so we're gonna drive onto the ice for the first time I was in the Hummer when I came on here I should mention so hopefully it doesn't crack this thing seems to be okay doesn't seem to be having any issues with that but I just love the fact that um, when you actually go to the snowy map the water is actually well not all of the water is ice you can see there's like a little river here but most of the water is ice which is something you don't really think about I mean you'd kind of expect it but a lot of games they they wouldn't actually make the water ice but in this game they have which is kind of cool okay so I was driving up this road and apparently something I forgot about was this massive boulder here uh, which is actually just right here you can actually see it on the map so what we're gonna have to go and do is go back the way we came and try and find another way to get over to this road I think if we go back a little bit and on this road we should be able to skirt through here hopefully that is not a dirt path because that's gonna be horrible if it is um, and we also can't go this way because you can see here the bridge is out. Alright, we are going to go that way. In the mud. Uh, not really what I want to do, but it's the only other route that there is. Uh, one thing that isn't too bad with the snowy maps is most of the muddy ground, like you can see here, is covered by ice. Which makes it actually quite hard ground, so... Trucks like this that are more on road are not too bad on the on the the ice covered sort of mud. It's the thick snow that bothers me a little bit more. I feel like we might get into a bit of uh, bother with that. All right, we're coming up to a bit of snow here, so let's see how this thing deals with this. It's quite thick snow as well. I'm going to just put it straight into low range if we can just keep it moving. Maybe not. Okay. Um, luckily, there are some winch points. Are, I like the look of that tree stump there. That doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Um, come on, truck. you got to remember, this thing is very much out of its comfort zone. It's not designed for this by any stretch of the imagination that is also some very very thick snow um, oh in fact we don't want to be going that way we want to be going that way okay that was a bit of a lucky escape there that was a horrible bit of road that I thought we were gonna have to go on although this doesn't look great either I'm not gonna lie um, which way do we want to be going? We want to go through the water. Okay. Something that I'm not 
too keen on in this game something that bugs me a little bit is that one part of water might be covered by ice or it might be ice and then another part of the map will actually just be water and it's kind of like if it's in the same area surely it should both be ice but yeah it's just a little minor detail that you might not think about but when you're driving on ice and then you get to a bit of water like this and it's actual water it's just a bit like shouldn't this be ice there we go we have managed to get around it and also this mud which I thought was going to be very thick has turned out to be ice covered and it's actually not too bad we're having a lot of lucky escapes in today's video and as I say that we are stuck we do appear to have driven into a bog or into a little bit of a ditch the truck is actually still moving through it which is mighty impressive and I think that's all she has come on truck a little bit of steering action low range and a bit of steering action that is what the tips guide gave us no that's not really helping okay well luckily there's some winch points around that's what the winch is here for at the end of the day yeah I was trying to steer out of this if you couldn't tell um, but there's a bit of ice there you can see and it's very slippery the ice surprisingly it kind of makes your truck fall into the deep snow which is not really what you need well we managed to get through that that took me no joke about half an hour to get through there I know I've just shortened that for video purposes um, that was a little bit horrible it doesn't really help that the front of this truck is so low I mean you can see it's halfway up the grill and that's where the ground actually came to uh, so yeah this truck is not really designed for off-roading but just up ahead here is the tarmac again so if we can just get to there then after that hopefully we're not going to have any more of these off-road adventures and there we go back on to the lovely lovely tarmac so what I thought was going to be tarmac all the way has turned out to be more mud um, it's hard mud so that's at least something, although around the corner here does not look fun. So I thought this was all tarmac. I completely slipped my mind that this wasn't tarmac. Um, I don't know which side I want to stick to here, because if we need to winch ourselves out, we need to be by a tree. Oh, we are still moving. And we're stopped. Okay. Well, we can winch to this pole now that's the good thing um, if you stick to the edges you've got trees so another off-roading tip there if you get to a bog like this don't just dive in the middle and think that your truck will be able to make it through think about what truck you're driving are you driving a purpose-built on-road international transfer or are you driving you know an off-road vehicle that will be able to make it through that these are little things that you have to think about this thing is actually mighty impressive for um, what it's doing here it's not an on-road vehicle but it is it is doing pretty well actually I mean it's not the worst off-road conditions let's be honest but this thing um, this thing is coping with it it's doing alright just up here to the left this is where we need to turn in um, oh there's another international in there for us that's nice apparently we can't get in this international so even if we need it we can't basically it's just there there's also some barbecues around here I think it's a little bit chilly for a barbecue 
I'm going to be honest, it is snowing and I don't know many times of the year in Alaska when there isn't snow. Right, apparently we have to go through here. But there are trees in the way and there's a big snow bank so I'm going to stick it in low range. I'm just going to go through gently. We can always go around there if we need to. This does not look very nice, I'm going to be honest. Right, the other side is poking out. But I can't see where we need to winch to. I see the winch point that I want. There. Right, that's it. Come on, truck. There we go. We are through the other side. Although, we are still stuck. What are you stuck on now, truck? Mm. There we go. That is some decent off-roading right there. Okay. Oh, there's some more lovely water. And I don't see many winch points. This is what is scary about this truck. Is you'll be going through... Oh, well, there's the watchtower. But you'll be going through some water like this. And get stuck. And there's... Bugger all to winch to. Absolutely nothing. And there we have it. Watchtower open. I'm going to launch the observation. All we can really see is trees. Um, but have we now discovered that international back here? Where was it? No, it doesn't show anything. Right, the pipeline here is broken. And the only place where we can get metal planks is here. Um, there is a trailer with them on. So what we'd have to do is go all the way back to there and get the trailer. Um, and at the same time, we could actually go and see if we can get that watchtower. But this here looks very off-roady. There is also a landslide here, so I'm feeling like this is going to be a straight road to here. And there's going to be, it's basically going to be blocked and we're not going to be able to get to that watchtower. So I'm trying to weigh up if there's any way that we could possibly get under the pipe somewhere. I've decided we can't get under the pipe anywhere here. We can go round it and this bit here is open. So if we could get to there, then basically we can drive under and get to the watchtower. Um, and we could go ahead and fix the pipe here. So the best thing that we can do now is actually go back the way we came. Uh, just oh, That road doesn't lead anywhere. Yeah, so we're going to go back the way we came to... Uh, this road and then we're going to go down there Right, so I've traveled quite a long way we were somewhere over here before and now I'm up here and um, We've sort of uncloaked Morrison's landslide here it appears that this whole bit of road is covered. The watchtower, however, is here, which is brilliant because we can take this little side road down here to the watchtower. And you can see there is also another little road there which will hopefully join onto one of these somewhere and we may be able to uh, join up and get this watchtower. So it was a little bit of an interesting route but uh, it wasn't actually as bad as I thought it was going to be. Something that has just caught my eye, which is a little bit concerning though, is the fact that we only have 46 litres left of fuel, which is still actually a fair amount. That's not too bad. Um, but there are no fuel stations around that I can see. Hopefully, if we can make it to this next watchtower, we might uncloak one. Uh, but we are a little bit strapped for fuel. So, um, yeah, that's just something I thought I'd update you on. That is a little bit frightening. 
we seem to have got ourselves stuck in a little bit of a bog here. It's, well, more of a snow drift, I'm going to be honest. And what I'm asking this truck to do, you've got to forget, is basically drive through this snowbank with absolutely no tread on the tyres. And yes, we are using the winch, but it is making it through, which is pretty incredible when you think about it. This is a fairly old truck as well. Uh, so basically what we're asking this truck to do is pretty incredible. And in fact, it has discovered another watchtower, which is pretty good going, to be honest. And there we go, watchtower opened. We have discovered another one. Let's launch the observation. Yep, yeah, all we can see is trees and a bit of water. But if we open up the map now, can we see anything? Hmm. I was really, really hoping there might be some fuel there, but apparently not. But it looks like we might be able to actually go and get this watchtower here. We need to just sort of... We need to sort of get across here. I don't know how bad that's going to be. But if we can get across there, then we are pretty much at the watchtower. And uh, this appears to be a factory of some sort here. And the route that I'm on actually did signpost me to a factory. So hopefully it is actually passable over here. We can't take this route because the bridge is out. So we're just going to have to do our best and hope that this crossing isn't too bad. It appears that is where we are crossing, where the rocks were. Or where the rocks are. And it doesn't look like too bad ground. I'm hoping it's not going to be. It actually looks very rocky, which is nice. Yeah, it's very rocky ground. I can actually probably leave it in automatic for on here. Yeah, this isn't too bad. Luckily, this was nice ground here. We've had a lot of lucky escapes in this episode. Let's see if we can get out here. This looks like a horrible bog. And it's actually not too bad. There we go, that's it. And we are across. You know what I was saying at the start of this episode? About it being all on road? Well, we uh, had some little surprises along the way. I like this massive snowdrift that I'm about to get stuck in. We're actually not very far now from uh, the factory here. In fact, if we go around the next corner, this I think is on road, which would be nice. Alright, we're in a, another bit of a horrible bog here. And we only have 13 litres of fuel left, which is very, very, very concerning to me. In fact, now we're down to 12. And we're not really getting anywhere, which is annoying. And we're out of fuel. That was as far as we could make it. We do need to bring this thing some fuel. Um, it's actually not that bad. Um, we might be able to do that. Uh, but I think that is going to do it for today's episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed, then don't forget to smash the like button. And if you're new around here, then please consider subscribing. We are going for 300 subscribers, as I mentioned. The truck is still moving forward, which is uh, quite funny. Um, yeah, we are going for 300 subscribers. I'm going to be doing another merch giveaway at 300 subscribers. So if you want to stick around for that, then please do. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. I hope you have all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs>